what is up? I'm out here in Nashville today. I'm actually, I was over here over the weekend. Came to visit my brother, say what's up. What's up? We came here to, uh, for Thanksgiving. So we had a little bros giving and we're wrapping it up. Today is Sunday. So I thought I'd film you guys a little day in the life here on the Sunday and we are going to Panera. I'm going to get some breakfast. I'm just gonna get coffee because I'm doing a water fast today. And yeah, let's see what today has in store. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten Okay, so Tyler, I already know people are going to ask this What in the heck is that painting? Or that thing on your wall? Yeah, so this is uh, a random piece of art that I got from my buddy who is an art dealer down in Miami I really like to think about what it's actually supposed to be for It's supposed to be uh, it's from like a war-torn country, and it's a hard thing to sew back together. Hmm. Is that the country being torn apart? Yeah. Hmm. Looks like something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't get art. <laughs> Alright, brother. See you, man. I'll see you, buddy. Love you. Love you, buddy. Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. So in school we had off Thursday and Friday, so it didn't really give me enough time to be able to fly home in West Virginia for break, so we decided, me and my brother, would have our own Thanksgiving. I came up and drove up, about a three and a half hour drive up to Nashville, so really awesome weekend. Like I said, it's Sunday, so now I'm driving back home and going to start preparing for the week. That's usually how my Sundays go. Um, so... My podcast is just coming on. The, the Doctor's, Doctor's Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Dr. Mark Hyman, and that's Doctor's Pharmacy. F A R M. Right there. It's starting, so that means I got to get on this road. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna get on the road, and we'll see you back in Atlanta. So it's about like 6 p.m. Got in a little bit later than I thought I would. A lot of traffic, a few different accidents. I guess it's just really busy. You know, a lot of people are traveling. Uh, haven't been back to my place yet, but I'm making a pit stop. Whole Foods. Gonna get a few groceries. I usually do my grocery shopping on Saturday. Usually I go to Trader Joe's, but I'm doing a juice fast tomorrow. So I did a water fast today where I'm doing nothing but drinking water. Ask me how that's going. And I'm doing juice, nothing but green juice tomorrow. Why am I doing it? Just to give myself a detox. I like to do these water fasts. I'm gonna start doing them about every six months or so. Uh, just right after Thanksgiving, all that good food. It's good to detox and get my system flushed out and working back to optimal health. So, I'm gonna get this food. Let's do this. Mushrooms, butternut squash, alfalfa sprouts, broccoli, kale, apples, onions, wild frozen blueberries, eggs, some kimchi, all my juices for tomorrow, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, my sardines, almond butter, some peppers, uh, zucchini squash, and yellow squash. Oh, and dandelion greens. So what I like to do every week is just meal prep some vegetables. So I just cut up a load of vegetables, put them on a baking sheet and bake them in some olive oil. Got some salt, oregano, and paprika to season them. Tastes amazing, quick, easy, and good way to get in some veggies. Heating it at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. <laughs> I 
Boom. So, glass storage food containers. I'm a recent converter, and I must say I'm a big fan. And a few reasons why, and here's why. So one, uh, the they wash a lot better, so they don't get stained, so they're gonna last you a lot longer. And plus, you can actually, uh, with the plastic containers, you can't heat dry them, where these you can. So I'm a big fan of that. They'll last you a lot longer, they're easier to clean. Also, I have heard that glass containers, the food retains a lot more of its flavor, and I don't know exactly why. It kind of makes sense, glass versus plastic. But I can indeed and tell you that the food, I swear by it, it does taste a lot fresher when it's stored in the fridge. And I tested this last week whenever I made my batch of vegetables. I put one in a glass container, one in a plastic container, and the glass container, I'm honestly telling you, it tasted a lot better. So, I'm a bad advocate. That's why I used glass containers. Okay, so in regards to how I plan my week, so what I do here is I sit down on my Sunday evenings and I pull up my Google Calendar, which is the system that I use to organize everything, and I'm looking right now at my week upcoming. And so what I'm already looking up here, now I already filled everything out, but if I hadn't yet, it would just show all my classes and different meetings and things that I already have pre-planned in here. So I look at that and I look at what I got upcoming. So I'm looking at big exams and things of that nature through this week. So for example, for this week, I have a cellular and neuromuscular physiology exam on Tuesday. And on Thursday, I have a motion palpation lab final practical. Now I'm putting a big star with that one because that practical is very important. It's worth a big percentage of our grade. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm all prepared going into that. So I've highlighted that. Next thing that I will do is I'll go to this app that I use, Wonderlist is what it's called, Wonderlist. It's a free, really awesome app that you should use, I recommend it. It's just to put up uh, different to-do tasks and lists and so forth that you can make with it. So I made a list for each of my classes that I'm taking. And on that, I write different assignments, important due dates, important like reading assignments and so forth that I wanna do for the following week. And I go through that and then I kind of mark in now I know the assignments and readings and things that I just wanna keep up on. I put all of that and make time for it into the calendar and I try to be as specific as possible with it. So that way, for example, I'm not just gonna be studying for my cellular neuromuscular exam or reviewing it, I'm gonna write completely exactly what I'm gonna study for, right? So I'm gonna study visual, auditory, and write different chapters and what I'm gonna be learning and my goal for that study session. Now it sounds a little bit too much, I understand for some people they don't wanna go this in depth, but I figured out for myself that it takes that extra step of getting really detailed with it because that way it's too easy to lose focus and whenever you're juggling all of this, it's, I like to be very specific with it, right? So I have all my study, you know, my work stuff, my, as far as school goes, is pretty much completed. Next thing that I wanna go and do is schedule my workouts. So I will look, I like to work out three to four times a week, uh, although I do some form of physical activity, whether it be stretching or yoga every single day. So I put that into my calendar, fill up the open space when the best time for me is gonna be to get those workouts in. And then I will plan at the same time with that, I will plan my meals for the week. So specifically the meals I'm gonna be eating and what I'm gonna be eating for those meals. Again, I get very specific with this. Now for this week, it's not that bad because today I fasted completely and tomorrow I'm doing a juice fast, so I'm not making any meals for tomorrow. But for the rest of the week, I'm planning out all of my meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and exactly what I'm gonna be eating. And more and most importantly, when I'm gonna have the time to cook those meals because that's just as important as making the time to be able to cook, eat, and then clean the food. So I make that time right there. What I also do is I write out the ingredients that is required for that meal so that way when I go to the grocery store like I went earlier today, I know what I wanna buy for the meals I'm gonna be making for this week. Very important. So the next thing I'm looking at the different meetings and things that I got going on this week, non-school related, so I got a few club meetings this week. I have four meetings. Um, I also have an adjustment time that I'm going in to getting adjusted at the student clinic. And then from there, I look at my free time spaces and how I'm going to maximize those. So my free time spaces, I'm looking at some other assignments, ways I can get ahead in some of the classes that I can fill in there. And then it's going to be also editing these vlogs, right, that I'm going to be put out because I kind of, I'm kind of weaning in. I'll see how you guys like it about making these shorter vlogs that are more daily style. I'm going to try to put them out more frequently. So, yeah, and then from there, I pretty much have everything. And then I want to look at some challenges that it's going to be facing me throughout the week so that way I get my mindset. So obviously, clearly for this week, it's not that bad of a week for me, but I do have my 
like I said, that final practical is going to be very important that I'm all prepared for that. And also, if I go to the next week, because I like to go two weeks ahead, if you followed kind of what I've been talking about, my study habits, I like to plan two weeks in ahead so that we are already prepared for what's coming ahead. And I'm looking here, I'm going to Jacksonville to see the Jags play the Colts on Sunday. I'm a Jags fan for those that don't know. It's a very disappointing season, but nonetheless, it's my first NFL game, so I'm really excited to go there on Sunday. But I have three exams next week, so that means I'm not gonna have any time Sunday to study, so I need to make sure that I get that time in to maximize um, next week's schedule for on Saturday is when I would have to do that. So I already have that prepared, and that's nice to know because that way, you know, throughout this week, things will come up. People ask me to help out with events or different things and so forth on Saturday. That way I already know that I already have that day completely blocked off because I know that I have to study to prepare for the next week ahead. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just think that being exact and going the extra step is important, at least it works out very well for me in taking that time. It usually takes me about an hour, sometimes less to do everything that I do, but I notice that extra hour that it might take or less to plan my week out in this great detail, it saves me hours, hours, and less, so much less stress throughout the week. And that's really awesome. And then other besides mindset notes, I know that I have to hit this week and not waste time and really utilize my time effectively this week. That way I can use my spare time at the end of the day or in between my breaks and so forth to start editing these vlogs for you guys and focus on content creation and that sort of thing. So it's going to be a nice week ahead of me. This is kind of what I do every single week as far as planning goes. So I know some of you guys want to see that. So this is kind of the behind the scenes for how I get everything done. Phew, it's glasses time. <laughs> I like putting these on about an hour before bed, but yeah, guys, that is about it. Usually on Sunday, like I said, it was really crammed because I got in late, but usually I like to take my time to go grocery shopping, do my meal prepping. I like to clean and prepare my plan of attack for the week and then get caught up on some work. So I didn't really have much of a chance to get caught up on some work, but I got my plan of attack set in stone for this week. It's gonna be a good week. And then from there, I just take a warm shower and get myself ready for bed, which is what I'm gonna go do right now. So, I'm gonna end the vlog here. And if you like this style of vlogging, this kind of more daily style, that way we can get you know more frequent turnover for some of these videos, it's something that I'm gonna try and experiment with, then go ahead and give this video a like if you wanna see more of that stuff. And uh, I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow as well. Let's see if I make it, because I haven't eaten yet, remember? I'm doing my juice fast tomorrow, so I'm not gonna eat tomorrow. So we'll see if I survive. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll find out. But all right guys, I'm gonna get some much needed sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.